What's going on, Morn here? I hope everyone's having a great Saturday. And it just so happens since it's Saturday, we have a choice between Nether Gate bosses. And the boss that I want to talk about today is the Gem Lord. The Gem Lord is an annoying boss, and there are not many comp comps that can reach max damage to get max rewards on him. So we're going to talk about him, which comp that I do know for sure will get me max re rewards, and we're going to try a couple other comps to see if we can go away from high-end heroes like uh, Margaret, Musashi, difficult to obtain heroes, um, and go in the other faction, see if we can reach max rewards on anyone else. Let's jump into his skills and then we'll talk more about the heroes. Oh, Jim Lord, you are, you are my kryptonite. His basic attack deals damage to 138% of attack to three random enemies. His active deals 180% to all enemies and reduces their armor level by two for four rounds. His passive increased damage against light heroes while decreasing damage against dark heroes. His other passive at the end of each round permanently increased attack by 500%, crit by 10%, and crit damage by 10%. And his last passive at the end of each round deals real damage equal to 15% of max hit points to all enemies. Okay, there is one passive that's not listed here is when the, when the Gym Lord actives, he has a similar skill to Berea, and he has a Reflect that takes that starts. We don't know how much his Reflect is, but we do know that he does Reflect, and for some heroes like Margaret, it can get them killed. That's why my normal composition of Margaret and Genji does not work together, because it's too much damage, and they actually cause each other to die very fast. Um... One composition that I found consistently that gets me in the five, five and a half million, I think the most I've ever done is, is about, is a little over six million, is August, Musashi, Margaret, Matthew, and I'm trying to think of the last one, and Sylvia. That composition has got me into 6 million multiple times. It's a very good comp. It works well because you, you do get a lot of damage from Margaret, but Musashi, surprisingly, doesn't have a lot of burst damage, so he has long damage over time versus uh, Genji, who just does massive damage on attacks. Um, for the first team we're going to try, I got four attacks here, and we're going to try this and see if we can reach it. The only heroes that I have... I have kind of come to understand that are, that are needed to reach the 3.1 million threshold will be August and Matthew. You need, on the Reflect, they'll still share the damage, and you need that additional healing of August. Uh, heroes like Michelle just don't do it. You can, you can probably also reach the max damage with um, Cassandra because Cassandra can drain energy, which prevents his Reflect from ever taking effect. Um, but I... My Cassandra is only 10 star, and I don't trust a 10 star to go into this particular boss to reach max damage. The first team that we're going to run today is going to be, let me make sure all their gearing is right. Uh, yep, he needs, he needs the energy ore. The first team we shall be running will be August. Sylvia, this right here is a good base, by the way. August, Sylvia, and Matthew, they don't die easy. They can last to the end of the fight, almost always, even with the Reflect. And then for our damage dealers, the ones that are actually going to push us over 3 million, we're going to try Karthus and Cilia. Karthus is similar to Musashi uh, as his damage ramps up over time. He gets that plus attack each turn, kind of like Musashi does. He doesn't have the bleed for the additional damage, but I'm... I'm pretty hopeful for this team, and then if this works, I actually want to switch out August with this team and try Alex to see if they're interchangeable, to see if only one of them are needed. Both of them won't work, will work, but then you really risk not reaching the 3 million threshold. So let's go right into this fight.
Now, we're not going to hit the three million. We're just going to skip to the end of the battle, and I'm going to go and equip... Equip heroes. Karthus. Okay, so Karthus is equipped. That's good. Uh, maybe with Cilia getting the additional damage, that will help out. So let's, let's go right back into that and see if it will work, and then we'll try another composition after this uh, that might work better. Okay, so that also doesn't work. Let's look at the damage and talk about it. Karthus did more damage than, than Cilia. My Cilia is A4. Her gear is, is very good at this point. And I kind of feel like she should have done more. Maybe it's the boss. Let's double check on her. Yeah, she has Genji's gear. And Genji will just do massive damage. Unfortunately, Genji dies by round four against this particular boss. So... We're going to unequip her. I know her artifact's low, but that shouldn't really make that big of a difference because I am able to do it. I've been able to do it with lower leveled artifacts with other heroes. Uh, maybe, we could, maybe we could benefit from more healing. It does seem like Margaret and Karthus as a, as a tag team could do it as opposed to having to run Musashi. So we're going to actually... What we're going to run now is August, Michelle, Karthus, Margaret, and Matthew. And see if Karthus can take the place of Musashi. Um, this isn't something where you need to do a lot. It's, it's a very difficult thing because you need to do a lot of damage uh, because you only have 15 rounds. But you need to do it within a, you need to do it over time. You can't just do tons of burst damage because if that was a situation Genji and Margaret are the go-to heroes they're definitely going to reach the burst damage as necessary um, but I know for certain using them together they will die by round four so let's we have Karthus good let's keep Karthus with this Okay. She has decent. She still has decent gear. Let's give this to. You know what? Let's give. Let's give the energy ore to her. Go to. The tidal surge, and on you we will take Sylvia's ore. And now we're running August. We're going to run August, Karthus, and have very good gear for Karthus. Matthew, Michelle. Yeah, that's what we're going to run and see if we can do this. And then the last attack, I'm going to show you the team I normally use just to show you, just so you see that I can definitely hit in like very high damage. Uh, it's just this particular one that... This boss is difficult. That reflect damage that is not supposed to be there. DH Games has said that there's no hidden passive. It's not listed anywhere, but it, you can see from the video, it's clearly there. Let's go into it. We'll drop you, drop you, add you. We'll keep you slot one. And Michelle. All right, so I'm still foregoing, foregoing Aura. That's not a problem. I think we should be good here. And then the next time, I'm going to show you my team that will always hit the max damage. Awesome. So Actually, Karthus does about the same amount of damage that Musashi actually normally does. Um, as I have my better gear on Karthus, Margaret's doing a little bit less, but that's perfectly fine. It's good to know that Karthus is, in fact, interchangeable with Musashi. Now, I'm going to run this same team, but I'm going to throw in Musashi, take out Karthus, and let you see how well he 
performs. Um, I'm going to keep him at a level one artifact, so it's it's fair game with him in Margaret, or I'm sorry, Carthus. Sure. Let's reset you. Okay, Musashi has the has gear that Genji normally uses and the same the same ore and a level one artifact. And I'm going to go into the boss. And this is this is going to be the team that I normally use in order to push this dam this max damage. This boss once again, this is boss is hard. And I'm gonna try more comps over time to figure out what other can you can do so you don't have to invest so heavily into chaos and light factions. I don't think Alex is, is an answer without August. I think August and Matthew are absolutely ne necessary in order to reach max damage against this boss. This thing is annoying. All right, let's do this fight and then we'll... Okay, so this is the team I normally use, and you can see uh, Margaret died a little bit earlier this time. It happens, you know. There's all there's always going to be an RNG to this, but Musashi did more damage, and this is pretty off. This is pretty normal, and this team is consistent between um, the most I've ever done is about six million, uh, but I had Musashi's artifact upgraded a little more. Uh, in general, though, four point five to five point three is the range that I hit with this team. Nevertheless, uh, this is a consistent team, but it's but it appears that Karthus will take the place of Musashi, which is fantastic. The only heroes that are absolutely necessary so far, it seems, are August and Matthew. That concludes today's video. I wanted to go over this boss because the, um, it was a request within the discords, and this boss is an exceptional problem. Uh, if you, have, if you have a lineup that you would like me to try out against it, please write in the comments and, I, and uh, I'll line up four, I'll set up four lineups for the next time the, the boss appears so we can figure out what works and will help the entire community progress within this, uh, progress on this boss. It's important to max out these because you're getting classed, you're getting colored classed, and you're also getting uh, hero shards. And this is super important. If you enjoy my content, like and share, Thank you and have a great day.